Hi, everybody. How are you? We're waiting for us to go on Facebook. And uh, there we go. We're up on Facebook now. Okay. All right. Hello. Welcome to our uh, little Monday thing. It's very casual. We don't, uh, we don't, it, it's just casual. That's all there is to it. And already I noticed one person is here. Uh, he's my old friend, um, uh, Richard Sheckman, better known as Shecky. Hello, Shecky. Hello, Alex. How are you? First one here today. I wonder if anybody else is going to be part of this little. That would be our normal one on one call. <laughs> yeah, our one on one call, which usually lasts, what, about an hour every time we yeah, talk? Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how are you doing? Good. I finished my 600 page Nat King Cole book this morning. Mm hmm. So I've moved on now to one on the railroad robber barons. Did you learn anything about uh, about uh, Matt Cole that you didn't know? I guess I did. I can't tell you exactly what, but you know, he was a workaholic. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And the one thing which I knew is he had a long-term affair with Gunilla Hutton, who was Billy Joe on the first season of, of Petticoat Junction. Oh, really? Yeah, for like three years. Oh, so he was a philanderer, eh? <laughs> yes, but in that era, you know, they all were. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But no, it's, you know, Will Friedwald wrote it, who did your Channel C or D or whatever channel it was back in 79 with us. Oh, wrote really? It. Oh, okay. Right. So it's a semi-scholarly book. Let me just check to make sure everything's going well here with uh, with our video. Oh, yeah. Got some people there. And hello to Andrew Deutsch in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, right? Yeah, hey. How, How are, are you? you? That's where I am. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah just kind of kind of kicking back. I had meetings all throughout the day, and now I can take a break, put my phone on mute, and have some fun. And you're just hanging out there in the conference room, right? In the conference room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you saw, but Zoom just did a stupid update. So now I can be on TV <laughs> with my background. <laughs> I can wear stupid glasses. This is, you think, you think school's back in session? Oh, really? These are just, is this all in there? It's all in Zoom. Well, let me see here. Virtual there. background, right? And then when you go to the right, they have a second tab now, video filters. Oh, 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 they crashed. Right. They crashed their whole system today. To really? I, don't to think up, I don't think they've updated mine. I yeah. see more, but I don't see that. Yeah. You must, you haven't updated yours yet then. There's a, there's an update. No. Oh, do I see you at the movies? Yeah. 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 It's, it's a hell of a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, thank God Trump got renominated today, this morning. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. I was surprised. Yeah, I was on tender hooks. I was waiting to see what was going to happen. Okay. And I don't know if you saw, they're not going to have a platform this year. Well, they don't need one. They have him. Well, that's what they're saying. Look who's there. We're gonna have a platform. Hi. Whatever yeah. I say is it. Hi, yeah, I, I was I was supposed to speak, but they found out I'd never been indicted, so they canceled my invitation. <laughs> you know, that's what oh. happened. Brian Neary has joined us. Marjorie has joined us. Uh, and uh, Brian is uh, known as 74 Days to Vote. Oh, no, no, no. I got to change that. What is it? Well, wait a minute. Don't do, don't do anything. Tell me, tell me what it's supposed to say. Okay. No. It's supposed to be, what, 75, 73 days to vote? 72 days to vote? Uh, 72. 72 days. Okay, there you go. And uh, I see. I can do oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can oh. also I can also do this, uh, which I'm I plan to do with a couple of people on the nighttime show. Uh, do what? Uh, this, okay. Awesome! See? Thank you. See what are you doing? <laughs> <people's names. laughs> Look at his title on his window. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you better hope you do that to mine and not Marjorie's. You're gonna be big trouble. Oh, I can. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. By the way, they finally invented Trump supporter backgrounds. See? <laughs> <laughs> I only have about 20 minutes because my daughter's in a new software thing and her school, so I got to log her on. So. Uh, uh, 
Which one? Is this? the highlight of this program. Which one? The, the lawyer one? one. Adrian. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And how's she? Uh, how's she adapting to school at home? Yeah, she's doing good. The other kids are doing fine, and then she's doing good. But then the the teacher started throwing the curveball in. You know, there's like three new programs that they're going to learn from. And uh, so luckily they said they're going to do it after lunchtime. So her lunchtime ends up 1.30, so it's perfect. I can get home and then take care of her, make sure she's on. Oh, belt. great. Well, will her school be open if she chose to go? No, no, not at all. Uh, so all three, so they have <laughs> elementary, junior high, and high school. None of them around here are open at all. Are they They're, all on remote? Well. Yeah. Here yeah, too. Oh, wow. Oh, and her, her teacher's name is uh, Woodcock. Mrs. Woodcock. Woodcock. <laughs> But well, you know, here in New York, open the schools, but we can't open the restaurants. You know, thank you, Mayor de Blasio, one more yeah. time. Here's uh, Louise Zeitlin, who always writes me, but she never comes on the air here. I told Louise to come on. Hi, Isabel. Here I am, Marjorie. Finally, another <laughs> woman. Yay. Only because of you. I've been hey, listen, after her to come can on. You do, can you do away with that background? Because I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Okay. Go 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 to the bottom left of your screen. Yeah. And you'll see there's a little thing that looks like a video camera with a little tick yes. arrow. Click yes. on the arrow. Okay. Oh, okay. And it'll say change virtual background on the menu that pops up. No, that's another thing I don't have on mine. Change virtual background. No. Oh, you can go to the, uh, it depends. I think you can go to the top where there's like a shield. It says yeah. enhance encryption. That's mine. Click Mine's the green that, seal. And that's where you can change it and just go to normal. Look how long it took you to find out how to do the yeah, mail. See, but this is why I don't like it. Just go in there. Brian. Mine's see, terrible. See, see, I mean, my, mine is that crisp because I actually have a green screen behind me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. doing this stuff. Okay. See, if you have, you go. Go. There we go. That's uh, much better. I see my husband help me. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Whoever helped you, who's that helping you? That's Dan, my husband. Your Hi, husband. Dan. Hi. Hi, Dan. Hello. I don't think she can see you. I, I always get called I can upon see his to shoulder. do. I always get called upon to do the technological things in the household today. Uh, you can also do this. The, the, the <laughs> I, like screen, that. I have the, I have a shirt that's the same color too. I can, I can oh, wow! Look at that. So your whole background is a green Oh, screen. aren't we having fun, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, this is what we do in the seventh month. Here we, of, here we go. Oh, uh, there you go. I like your cars, asshole. <laughs> Just getting done. <dense. laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this was when, uh, yeah, this is, this is my good picture. Oh, no, you can't see. Uh, that's all. Enough. Yeah, get get rid of all that. It's, I know. It's, it's, I know, I know. It's, it's, yeah, when it's all Yeah, see, I mean when you do a green screen like Andrew's doing, it looks good. When you use their thing, it like your hand terrible. disappears and you know <laughs> your that's body. why I don't like people using it because it's too distracting. I mean Andrew looks like he's really working. Have we met? He's in a conference room. Well, you know, I've made so much money over the years. <laughs> well, you know, you can also make your face look better, too. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, do Happy you ever... Monday. <laughs> Marjorie and I are the two stars in our beds. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's our bedroom she's calling from. This is it. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. I think for the time being, let me see here. So anyway, uh, let's see. So your your kid is uh, is doing homeschooling. Well, three yes, of kids she's doing good. Huh? She's doing good. They just extended their kids, so this is the first day they do until two thirty. So that's why they're doing some of this other blended learning. So it should be interesting. Yeah. Okay. But it's just like you know what we talked about before. Is like it, luckily they're doing this later in the day because if she needs an adult there to help her. The other two kids are busy with their school, so I don't know what to do after if, if she had to do it during the morning. Are all your also. three kids working from one place? No, no, they all have separate rooms. They all have their rooms. Okay. Yeah. That's good. But so, all in the same house. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then one, uh, one guy at work, we were talking today, and they said that somebody is bringing their kid to work, and they actually have them in their office and their desk doing their, their, their homework. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so I may do that with her. Bring her to work. Wow. So uh, without uh, child care, there's lots of people doing that. That's not unique. Well, you know what? Yeah. The, new, the new thing we saw they're doing is like parents will get together like with three pods, children. the little pods, and with little pods, and then they will go out and hire a tutor for forty dollars an hour. Uh, because it's like four tutor. or five kids, so four or five families, they hire a tutor at 60 bucks an hour, and the tutor helps them with the online learning. 40 wow. bucks an hour. But if 40 bucks an hour? Yeah, if you, you know, I mean... It, but what does the normal person who doesn't have that money to do that? They have to send their exactly. kids to school. Or get them an iPad. Yeah. 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 Well, in New York, they give the kids free iPads. Yes. Yeah, they did here too. Which is this good. Is, this is from school. Is it? From school, yeah. And so it says a unified district. That's perfect. And here by zip code determines whether or not your school has money to get you an iPad. If your parents can got, afford an iPad, the school will get you one. If the parents can't, you can get one. Is that an actual Apple iPad? Yeah, and it's got everything, pro, all the apps already on there. So when we do the stuff today, it should be interesting. It should just be able to click on it and then show her badge on there and it's all good. So she's computer literate, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, probably better than we are. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she'll grow up with that. That'll be just part of her DNA. Yep, exactly. With us, we all had to learn. Back in the old days when we used to have to draw rulers to make Excel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Wow. Well, you know, it's, it's all different. It's all different. I was thinking the other day when, when we were younger and didn't have any of this stuff, you memorized all your friends' telephone numbers. I mean, my home number was Greenwood 74382. You knew all that. Today, you don't know it, but it's on your phone, but you still don't have it in your head. Does this make, yeah, me, sharp there, Alex. Does this make me look younger? I don't know who's looking <laughs> How's mine? Hmm? Now you need sunglasses on, and then you're good. <laughs> Very then nice. you look really young. <laughs> yes, Alex, you look younger. Oh. And it was so funny. Your when, eyes twinkle. It, it, it brings out the color. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny when, when, Marjorie, when you and Alex both geared up, the first video you guys did, and you're in the hallway about ready to leave. I was just saying, my, my God, they look like they're going to go rob somebody. And then Alex says right away, they're going to go rob somebody. <laughs> you can't tell the robbers from anyone else today. Everybody's all the best. Exactly. <laughs> and it's going to be another year easily with the mask. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe some people will, will adopt them anyways, just like Asia. Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for posting the picture from the caverns. You really do look quite adorable in that picture. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh that's... <laughs> Everyone else, I totally the, That's what they wore during the Great Plague. During the, during the, during the bubonic plague, these were... Like in Europe. Yeah. And they had herbs. They had herbs right at the beach. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Uh, back, uh, then out of the bank. That's, uh, well, anyway, I, oh, look here. Uh, it's too hot in here. Have a good day. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So What's cute. that in the background? Hey, Adrian. How are you? I didn't know what that was. Oh, she doesn't know me. Notice, know who I am without my. That's hand. Alex. <laughs> Bullheaded Alex. Hi, Adrian. Remember me? Say hi. He's a dirty old man. Say hi. Hi, Alex. Hi. Oh, that's Marjorie. Say hi, Ms. Alex. Hi, Ms. Alex. Hey, Adrian. Say Marjorie. Say hi, Marjorie. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hey, Say hi to Louise. Here's Louise. Hi, Adrian. Say hi, Louise. Say hi. I want you people to know if you're watching, that's what we're voting for. Yes. Her. You know? Yes. Yes. So she can okay. live in a decent world. Adrian, wow. say hello to iPad 3. By the way, I got to hand it to Cuomo <laughs> today. He finally came up with the new term. What? Um, the European virus. European Cuomo virus? came up with that. Yeah, Cuomo came up with yeah. European virus I and started calling it the Chinese virus. What? 
I don't think he came up with that. Well, in, I think in, in, in it regards that. to what Trump is calling it, the China virus. Well, he said it's ours Europe. came from Europe. He said, what we have here is the European virus. That's we, didn't right. get, we didn't get ours from China. <laughs> but <laughs> she is adorable. She's so cute. Huh? She is so adorable. She she dances she dances nonstop nonstop. She watches all the Korean dancers. They have these dance schools. She copies all of them, and I like amazed. And she'll just go, and all of a sudden, I hear some music down there, and she's practicing by herself. So she finds it on the iPad or the computer? On the TV, she'll she'll uh, you know she does the voice command. Yeah, so she does voice command for anything on there. So Is she she That's prefers the, the Korean dancers. You said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. Well, she does the Black Pink stuff, but then they have this other this other uh, uh, dance group that they show all these videos and all these different dancers. You talking about the K-pop? The K-pop yeah. people? I got you. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, How old is she? She'll be five in uh, October, but she's, wow. she's so I'm six four, so she's taller than nine. She's in the ninety eight percentile, so she's taller than ninety eight kids of the percent of you know the kids. Wow. Of the yeah, so she's she's big. She's so she's gonna be tall. She's gonna be yes. tall. I'm, I'm glad she can't read because she wouldn't read what my name is right now. <laughs> she doesn't know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, you better go out and buy yourself a gun for when she starts dating when she's 34. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, I raised three daughters. Well, you have one that's older. You you start yeah. with the right conversation. Oh. How old is that one again? She's 12. Yeah. And the other one, the third? 14, the boy, the boy's 14. Still for sale, very cheap price right now. <laughs> so she, you waited a while before you had her. So actually the two are from my wife from before. Num wife number one. Okay. Yeah, from, yeah, from before. So this she, only... she, she, yeah, this is my only child, only, 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 yeah. With this wife? Yeah, I, I never had kids before until I was 40 something. Really? Yeah. How old are you now? 52 or 53, something like that. You look like you're in your 30s. <laughs> Alex you showed me how to use the thing on here where it softens all your wrinkles. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> that Elizabeth Taylor uh, filter. Okay, say, say goodbye. Say you'll see them tomorrow. Hi. Hey, Adrian. Bye goodbye. Bye. We'll see you guys <laughs> hey, tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, is anybody else going to call today? Usually we get a lot of callers. Uh, on well, we have Louise, and Louise is, is yeah. All right. Yeah. The All right, Alex, you're stuck with us. Yeah, well, if anybody wants to call, you just uh, go to my Facebook page and click on the link, and it just puts you right on here. So we're already here, so who are you telling we're here, you to? so let's... Well, no, uh, I'm telling you for people who are watching. Can you see how many people are watching on there while we're doing this? Yeah, but it, it doesn't really give me a good indication. Of the that means numbers. not a lot of people are watching. No, because uh, <laughs> it'll say like 12 to 15 when I look over here. And yet when I finally turn it off at the end of it, it'll say like two or 300 are watching. Well, at different points. We don't know. I, I yeah. have no idea what it's all about. Well, you. maybe they're watching the Republican convention. They're busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're being produced. Trump is showing up at every place every day. Yeah. yeah I, I was going to watch it, but I didn't get any Dramamine to keep myself from. <laughs> I, you know, I, uh, I mean, I'll watch one night a little bit of it to see how they're doing it so I can talk about it. But I don't know. I don't think they're as prepared for it as the Democrats were. Yeah, but you know, this is going to be a dirty down to the wire election. Well, their whole platform is we love this guy. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what they put on the air. Yeah. I mean, he's just talking to his, you know, his base. The Hitler oh. youth. Apparently, his sister doesn't love him. Oh, boy, that's for sure. That. She was a federal court judge. She retired. Yeah, yeah, that he used his influence to get appointed to the bench. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But uh, I, I watched about five minutes of, of him today. He's already spoken. I know. I can't watch him. He's, he is. Five minutes, five minutes, 20 lies. 
Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, the Democrats refuse to say under God any type of pledge of allegiance, even though it never happened. Yeah, but his base believes it, yeah. even though they've been shown proof it's not true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look what's come out today in New York uh, federal court. This yep. well, I mean, what, what, he, what he did yesterday was he laid claim to the, uh, to the use of, uh, of uh, the hormone, the therapy, therapeutic plasma, the plasma yeah. which is fake or possibly fake. Well, yeah. it's, no, it's not fake. It's been used by Mount Sinai. It's been used, but, it's been used, in, so small. but it's been used since the Spanish flu. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this kind of therapy. It's making claim like it's brand new. Yeah. yeah I, I actually in, invented sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone does it, I get a royalty. Okay. Oh, really? yeah. I've been sneezing a lot. Coughing was my cousin John. He, he invented <laughs> that. Rodney Hurst just tried to call and get in, and I just saw his name, and when I went to go click on him, he disappeared. Who's Rodney Hurst? I have no idea. A member of the Hurst family. No, it's I H -U -R -S -T, do. Ah. Which was my Here's wife. everyone. Happy Monday. <laughs> what are you drinking? Pinot Grigio. Oh, boy. It's now 5 o'clock somewhere in the world. Now Thank she, you. Now she's going to hit me all night. <laughs> you know. You're complaining? Yeah. Now, this week was a big week for Shecky and I because on Netflix, they oh, Lucifer. eight episodes of Lucifer. I watched it, too. I, One I, of the best seasons, seasons they've done. You think so? Yeah, because they were just screwing around with the format. How many seasons? Six. Well, it's still, they're still season 5B. There's still another eight episodes, but they hadn't finished the final episode of season five. I don't watch it. Well, it's your laws. But no, like Diablo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they were playing. Episode. They're playing. You know, something TV. funny. The only thing that we could watch together, I mean, both hated because it's really shit, but we could watch it together without arguing is the Americans. I like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> really? Cool. We're in the second season. I think it's terrible. Yeah, I lost well, me in the first season. I never watched past the third episode, fourth episode. But it's the only thing we can watch no, together you can't, without you, arguing. You know, I mean, Marjorie won't watch Lucifer because it's fantasy, but this thing is more fantasy than Lucifer ever was. <laughs> you have to believe that these people have two kids who they're raising, and at night they go out and do their spy stuff, but he's also married to another woman who he's trying to get information out of. I mean, it's up. They, I can't figure out when they sleep, where they change their clothes. You know, it's it's just so full of holes. It's ridiculous. It's that element of imagination, Alex. Well, suspension of disbelief is one thing. Suspension of plot is quite another. Well, hmm. but that's the only thing we can watch yeah, together. Which I, is amazing. I've, I've watched uh, all but the. I've watched about uh, all but the last three of Lucifer so far. Uh, and I yeah, can't, black, I can't, the black wait. and white episode looked great. What? The black and white episode looked great. It looked great, but I kind of found it a little on the amateur side. You know, yeah. like they were just. It was fun. It, it, was fun. it was fun. But I don't know. I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Not necessarily <laughs> good. I like it or not. No, I, no, listen, I love the show. You know, and then eventually you're going to get to James, the James Earl Jones of the 2020s, Dennis Haysbert. Oh, is he in this uh, this batch? Hey, yep. Yeah, he comes on as God, right? Yeah, for like 10 seconds at the end of the final episode. Yeah, and then he sells you some insurance. <laughs> yes. But it dawned on me, he's the new James Earl Jones. Uh, yes, he is. You know, his voice is quite prominent. He does... Uh, He's the voice of God. Voice. You know, yeah. what else can you yeah. say? <laughs> He's the new voice of God. Um, uh, hello there, uh, Len. Len. How are you? Hi, Alex. How are you? You seem tired. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> My air conditioner is broke, and it's 90 okay. degrees, and I can't, nice. open the win I can't open the window because the smoke outside is horrendous. Now, and you live where in California? 
Livermore. Oh, God. Is that north? Uh, it's just directly east of San Francisco, about 50 miles. So you're yeah. getting the smoke from the fires. You have no idea how unhealthy the air is right now. Oh That's where God. they have the world famous L Lawrence Livermore Labs. Wow. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So it's hot, it's uncomfortable, I can't breathe, uh, I'm ready to kill myself. <laughs> and, and, and what happened to the air conditioning? Uh, the, the unit, 26 years old, finally decided that this was the right week to... Uh, oh, really? <laughs> So I got a new one sitting out there. I'm just waiting for the guy to show up to do it. He said maybe tomorrow. So. What is it? Busy. An outdoor It's a busy one? week for him. Yes, it's an yeah. outdoor, yeah, the big uh, central, central air thing, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, how, so how it's been, those it's things run? Run? How much do those things run? Uh, the, you know what? My wife works for an HVAC company, so it was only about a grand. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's terrific. You have air conditioning in your place, don't you, um, Shecky? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one where the squirrels chew through the cables. Oh, eight hundred dollars later, I had air conditioning. <laughs> hey, you know, you got the squirrels chewed through the cable into the basement. Oh, okay. Sixteen hundred. <laughs> do what you do. Yeah, yeah. We had a mice problem. How how is your electric electric bill from the air conditioning with the central air? Is it cheaper than uh, like we have these window units? You know. I don't know. Yeah. For me, it's. I mean, I pay about two sixty a month for mm -hmm. all electricity. I Ours don't know. Ours is high. Ours We've was five fifty. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Five hundred and change. I have a five bedroom, three bath house with twenty five hundred square feet and a pool that uses the the pool pump, and I'm at like two twenty, two forty. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're number one. We're in New York City. I know. Right. Also, yeah, I'm on it too, and you know, yes, I keep the air. Summer, I keep it about seventy-four. Winter, I keep it like sixty-two. Mm -hmm. But you know. Yeah, my my, I have two two compressors to cool this house, and and the hot tub and other stuff, and my the pumps for my fish tanks. I don't think I pay two hundred bucks a month in the. Yeah. Wow. But, but you got to remember what I have. Yeah, you don't have insulation. You know, your equipment. I have all this equipment running. Yeah, but, but still, have... you know, if we lived someplace else, it wouldn't be as expensive. Well, you want to know something? I found out something. We have these cable boxes. I got five cable boxes in the house. You know, okay, you got five cable boxes in the house. I hear they chew up a lot of electricity. That's $8 a month per box on my really? electricity, just for those cable boxes. Sure. So this 40 bucks right there is going to cable boxes. Well, you should just turn them off if you're not in the room using them and turn them on when you want to watch cable. But the only way you can turn them off is by unplugging them. That's right. You leave them if no, you turn, there's no. a button on the no, horizon no. boxes. You but they stay you, alive. Yeah, you now turn what them you off. Do is plug it all into but a it's still, it's still running electricity through it. It's still using power. Yeah. That's, you can get a, a, a power strip, plug all your stuff into it, and turn the power strip on and off with a switch when you come in the room. Yeah, uh, 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 but it, it, the thing is, what's terrible is the uh, 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 TV sets, too. The TV sets, you turn them off, they're still eating electricity. Anything the that's breaking, because people want that quote instant on. Yep. <laughs> instant on. <laughs> Thank you. Televisions, televisions in that mode use very little. It's that, that wouldn't be a big draw. No, I'm told it is, though. I'm yeah, but look, look at the at the rating. The what do they call it? The uh, not the star rating, but the energy, the energy yeah, conservation energy. thing. Yeah. If you leave a TV on for an entire year, it shouldn't cost but twenty bucks to run the TV for the whole year on. Our bill last month was five hundred and change. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. your your problem your problem is you're in an old apartment building that's not insulated with window air, which is less insulated. Yeah, and it's you've built got nice. units on either side of you with walls that are heating up. Yeah, built, <laughs> you're, built nice. you're trying to cool the inside of an oven. Yeah, yeah, well, you, yeah. you get a point there. You know, during the summer, during the winter, our our Perfect. air our our price goes down to about two twenty five, two fifty. But uh, I was just wondering, what happens if I turn everything off? 
you know. <laughs> Could I go, still go down to the, because once I did this, I, I, I lived in San Francisco and we had our power, you know, our meter in the basement. So I turned everything off in the apartment. In fact, I flipped switches to prevent any electricity from going down there. And I went down there and it was still whirling around. <laughs> the guy well, next door, the guy next door is plugged days, into your house. Anything. What? When I lost the power for five days last month and I went out to do, you know, check the electric usage, there wasn't much of a change. Oh, tell mm. them about that. You know, I mean, today Cuomo was really ripping you know, he ripped the Trump. yeah he said doesn't that, matter i love como well but he said he he was just livid at the way you people were treated his electricity was out for five days five yeah. days that's a lot a lot for new york well you know you, you think of it as <laughs> okay it's inconvenient you didn't have electricity well he okay. said we're not paying you to run the electricity we're paying you to fix everything yeah <laughs> well, i mean i'm not gonna part of the problem and i'm not a fan of con ed was they had the problem of social distancing the workers while they were trying to fix it oh. Oh. you wear a fucking mask that's what it's all about that's all what they masks do is wear a mask. you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> they, they, they had to sneak people in from canada to help because they couldn't come across the border I'll, I'll in you, trucks. I'll tell you the one I'm sick and tired of. I'm tired of COVID being used as an excuse for everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, all oh, the reason we couldn't answer the phone with this tech company for an hour and a half is because, you know, we got the COVID. Or, <laughs> or, or, or people are working from home. They're using the same equipment that you have at work. Okay. The same screen you have at work. And and you can't answer the phone faster. It it just yeah. is an excuse for everything. Yeah. And I you know I use a lot of technical resources. Uh, what do you keep turning your iPad off for, Marjorie? I did, and I'm getting a call. Oh. Oh, don't answer it. I'm not. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I'll call you back later. Yeah. So anyway, what happens is is that that. Uh, uh, I use a lot of different things like, you know, servers and things like that, that I need to put my stuff out there. And the problem is that all these services have been going down lately, you know, so I go a day without having a service. And so some of my, my website doesn't work or, or things on my website that are served by other services. So I moved everything off of one server, uh, off of two, it was on two servers, all my files and things like that that served my, uh, my uh, uh, what do you call it, my uh, Roku channel, as an example. And I moved it all to one server. So if it goes down, then I guess I only have to deal with that one server. But uh, our oh. cable keeps going out here, you know, our, our power, we're, we're on a a rotating block 50 means our power can never go out, and yet it went out. Um, our cable is that because out of the here. fires? I, of I, I don't know. The heat, the fires, uh, Trump, I don't know. <laughs> I would say Trump. Well, let's blame it on Trump. Okay, let's yeah. blame everything on Did you see that war on this morning? I happened to be flipping through the channels. He was on talking. They were, had just nominated him, and they're yeah. yelling four more years, four more years. He goes, no, no, no. 12 more years. So they all started yelling 12 more years. <laughs> Dog years. <laughs> well, no. From the Actually, I, I think it's probably he's accurate. He's probably going to get 12 years to life. He's <laughs> Here's his new house. Maybe he meant 12 more weeks. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh. I've, been I've been decorating his new home. So yeah. <laughs> you have, do you have a gas chamber at all? Or electric yeah. chamber? No, but I do have where he's going later. <laughs> that's that's his last rights right there. Nice. Uh, it 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 is just uh, you know I mean uh, I can't see how, puppy, I, I can't see how this guy oh, uh, look, look at that. that. Look, look at, at that. that. They're cute. Not um, as cute as the kid, but pretty cute. Famous. <laughs> what's it? What's the dog's name? Hello. What? Lucy. Lucy? Lucy? You know, I Lucy love you. in the love sky you. with diamonds. <laughs> Is that the Lucy that holds the football? 
called Lucy because when Dan gets home, he wants to say, Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I, uh, uh, but you know, I mean, I just, uh, I, I can't see how this guy's going to get reelected. You know, I mean, very easily. You heard the postmaster lately? Yeah. <laughs> Morning. Oh, it was awful. It was horrible. Is he, you know, he's the kind of guy you just hate by looking at. He gave a million dollars to Trump's campaign. Million point two. Oh. Does, it, does anybody want to have a side bet at all as to? If he doesn't get elected, whether or not he attends the inauguration or not, or leaves, or no, leaves. leaves inauguration. What's mm -hmm. that, Shaggy? The Trump, the Trump News Channel will be on the air by then. Yeah, yeah. OAN, <laughs> OAN will be rebranded as the Trump News Network. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you don't believe, if you don't know that he's already involved in that network, you're crazy. He uh, had it. It was as yeah. soon as they started that he started going against his his Fox boys. Even the Fox yeah. people want him out of office. Yeah, I know. A lot of Republicans lining up against him now, too. Yeah, yeah but nobody that's in office. Did you hear that the Kellyanne yeah. Conway is leaving the White House and his her husband is leaving uh, is leaving the Lincoln the Lincoln Project? project. Who? Yeah. Kelly is leaving. Yeah, and, yeah, and he's leaving. And George Conway is it? Is that his name? George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's he's, a marriage. In the, well, he's um, he's leaving the uh, the Lincoln Project. I love Well, the daughter tried to wants to be emancipated at the age of 15. So that's an excuse. We have to take care of our family. Is that the both of their excuses? Because she's apparently a real leftist, the daughter. The daughter. Wow. And so is George. George is. is no, he's not a leftist. He's, he's a, a conservative who does not like Trump. Yeah. Yeah, he's, a, he's a Republican along the lines of the, uh, like Reagan was. Yeah, and he's he's no he's no Democrat. As soon as, as, soon as the Lincoln Party, the Lincoln Party is vying for time to rebuild the party for the next four years. That's what they want. What? And it's the same argument. I talk to these kids that are all Wait, oh, Bernie. Again, Bernie got ripped off. Say it again. I missed the first part. The Lincoln, their project is to get Trump out of office. Right. So they can win back the Republican Party in four years and try to run as conservatives again. Okay. Instead of lunatics. Well, I mean, I would yeah. uh, that I wouldn't mind. You know, I don't mind a loyal opposition. Me neither. But Trump isn't the opposition. Yeah. And Trump is not serving Republicans or conservatism. He's serving, serving himself. And, and the kids, the kids that are that are out there that are all upset because Bernie didn't get the nomination. And I they understand. Vote for him. They, they they have a choice. They can choose not having an election in four years if Trump gets elected and and follows the Putin model. Or they can choose four years of being able to regroup and get more people to support. Well, their Andrew, they didn't come out and vote in 2016. Yeah, well, but different now. Right, but if they if they wake up and recognize that if they let this guy win because they choose to be burned and they don't want to show up to vote, they won't have maneuvering room in four years except violence. But yeah. you know, there there is uh, such a hate, a dislike of Trump that that is what is driving people to Biden. Like I'm not, I'm not a Biden fan. You know, in fact, I thought about. It. I mentioned this. When was it? I think I mentioned it the other night to the group at night. That in my lifetime, I'm trying to think if there's any time I ever voted for anybody that I really liked. And the answer is no. Yeah. You know, Most of the time, you're voting against the person you don't like. It, 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 exactly. I'm against somebody. Yeah. I didn't agree policy completely, but I like Barack Obama as a person. Oh, I, I do know. I liked him. Uh, no, I liked him a lot, and I felt better when I voted for him the second time around. And a lot of his policies were good. Yeah, yeah, but he embraces actual capitalism instead of this corporatism that's faked, faking everyone as to what capitalism is. Yeah, but I mean, so I, I uh, uh, but I, I, I tried to think of somebody I voted for because I, boy, I really want to see this guy be president. Boy, you know. Well, I really liked Elizabeth Warren, but she didn't get the nomination. Yeah, but those people never do, she, you know? She would have been, to me, she was the right candidate. Well. But people wouldn't vote for her. Exactly. Yeah, I, I didn't say it. Okay, but you I, know, I you, you got to look at this in a different different way. Um, not who do I agree with, who I don't agree with. But we're holding a job interview here. 
Mm -hmm. You know, and who's best equipped to do the job? Now, let's face it. Joe Biden's got the goods. There's no question about it. Well, it's who he hires around him. And he'll hire good people. I mean, he, he certainly knows where the closest bathroom is to the Oval Office. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, when you're, you know, when a, when when a board of age, you got to know. Yeah. <laughs> if you're sitting in a board of directors meeting and you're interviewing CEOs, Mm -hmm. you, you, you want the guy that's the most qualified that also is going to take the business in the direction the board wants it to go. We're the board. Yeah. 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 So it, it's a combination of both. It's not just the best guy for the job. It's the best guy who's going to take it in the direction we believe it should go. And yes, I thought Warren, but also bring Warren was the best people. for that. In but my the opinion. board's got to come out and vote. Look, yeah. we know what somebody can do when he wants to destroy America. Alex, you're similar in age to Joe Biden. Do you really think you would have the stamina to do four years in the Oval Office? No. Um, I, don't think he's I, I don't have stamina to do this office. hour for crying out loud. Are you kidding me? But Trump is 74, so you want to say what? So the other guy's four years older. Right. No, I get that. It's a hard job. I, I don't know that I don't want to be doing it. Well, I, I do think it's a young I man's Fox job. I watch um those two guys at night uh, yeah it's hard yeah I, th I think obama was the right age yes yeah. early yeah. 50s yeah he 50s turned 50 in the white house yeah, yeah. because uh that's a, they've got the stamina they've got you know everything what a, a me be president at 80 i know what it's like at 80 and i you know <laughs> i you know i i but here's the thing i mean uh I think that Biden is capable of doing something very important. I don't know if he has the stamina to do all the work, but I think he can hire the right people to do the work for him. You know. That's what a leader's supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. who expects a president to know everything and do everything on his own? Obama surrounded himself by very good people. Yeah. yeah. And plus, Biden knows how to read a book. <laughs> Biden knows how to read a teleprompter, okay? I mean, it, it, every time I watch Trump give a speech, it's like a kid at his bar mitzvah having to read the Torah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, not me. Huh? Trump, Trumperia. <laughs> Trumperia. I mean, it, it just, it's amazing how, how much he isn't willing to learn. I mean, if I looked at myself and I saw that I was that bad at reading a speech, uh, I would immediately go out and hire somebody to teach me how to do it. I mean, he's got all these people from The Apprentice helping him with the, uh, with the uh, convention. Uh, why doesn't he get one of them to tell him, okay, here's how you read a script? Well, he's too busy with a narcissist. Talking about Trump's family, the latest Lincoln Project ad is about Jared. Did you anyone see it? No. Yeah. It's it's really good. They do one, I think, every day, don't they? No, they don't. But if, I would say maybe three times a week. Wow. Yeah. They they really, if I were the Democratic Party, I would hire those guys. I sent them money. I sent them twenty five dollars. <laughs> I, I would hire them to do the ads because they do very good ads. Right on. You know, but I mean, very smart, very intelligent. But they're, they're a bunch of Republicans who just don't want to see Trump reelected. They would rather see Biden in office. You're right. Four years, reconnoiter, reestablish the party, reestablish the brand, all of that, and then run a decent Republican. Oh, I can't think of one right now. Yeah, I was just going to say, who, is, who would that be, Alex? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. Who would that be? Uh, we can do Mitt Romney again. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want any of them, but it, you know, I would rather have somebody who's at least somewhere in the realm of decency. Well, yeah, yeah. Biden is closer Mitt to Republican Romney, than Trump Rick, is. Mitt Romney was a decent enough person. Yes. You know. That's because you've never done business with his organization. Well, of course. I had dealings with Bain. They're not good people. Yeah. Isn't and he has a magic pants. He has a what? <laughs> Oh, the magic, magic underwear. No, it's a magic scarf. No, it's magic underpants. It's, Under their, underpants. it's magic underwear. It goes to the end here on your sleeve and the same on your legs. Yeah. And it's got all <laughs> kinds of symbols on it and stuff like that. Yeah. It's got little stitches oh. over your nipples so that God will know what, you what happens when you. <laughs> what happens when you get track marks uh, in your magic They're divine. 
they're divine. They immediately clean <laughs> themselves, do they? Yeah, probably. I, I, nobody ever talks about the the symbolism and everything in in the Mormon Church. I mean, uh, the kind that wasn't of, because somebody I forget who it was wore robes. So they're the, the the prayer, the sacred robes of the founder. Uh, the founder. No, no, of Old Testament. I forget the oh. Abraham. I don't know who it was that wore. Or garments, or garments, that robe. Of course, I don't know. I, I kind of think maybe I'm going to go to Scientology because I hear I get my own planet. <laughs> That's true. But if you're a Mormon, you 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 become a god. So. Alex, what was that sci-fi thing that we were watching where they had an actual spaceship that was for the Mormons? They were going to their planet. Oh, that was, uh, that was, um, uh, oh, what was that show? Oh, Looney Tunes? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Probably South Park. No, no, no. no, no. It was a space. It was a space thing. It was that ring that surrounded the, the Earth. The abyss or the what's it beyond? What was it called? Jeez, Almighty! I can't remember now. Anyway, they had a specific spaceship that was taking the Mormons from this rim that covered the Earth to their planet. Yeah, they they went and built it, and they had the the you know the statue with the horn on top of it. <laughs> But it wasn't meant as funny. It was, uh, what was the show? It's so, so We watched the whole thing. I know. I watched uh, the whole series. It was a very good series, and I can't it, remember the name of it now. Is the series finished, or did we just see it? No, the I think they're coming up with more of them. It's over at, uh, it's over at Amazon. And it's, uh, oh, God, what is the oh, name of that oh, show? Oh, I know which one you're talking about. The, yeah. Uh, the escape, not the escape. It starts with an E. Uh, the, um. Oh God! Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. We watched it. It was good. Let me see. The the expanse or the that's yes, it. that's it. The expanse. The expanse. Is that what yeah. I got it right? And I think they commandeer the spaceship that the Mormons yes, the turn it into a battle uh, ship. They, they had a and uh, they uh, they had to take they took down the 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 angel with the trumpet and all of that. <laughs> but they uh, they left all the interior in there, so there's like these uh, pews and things like that. It's very strange. But that was the Expanse. Yeah, very good show, by the way. How many seasons? I think five, four, five. We've five. sold all of them. Yeah, I watch every one. Yeah. Is there a, a sixth season? They're coming. Yeah. This Have is you, what you do when you're in hibernation. Have you <laughs> well, seen, uh, how you many seen here? How many here are truly? affected by this hibernation we're in i am my sleep how about you shecky are you no you told me you're tired all the time just like me oh, i'm tired but i'm not affected well that i'm could, not that, sleeping that could be because from, i don't have an excuse to come into manhattan so it you know it's in the morning it's like oh okay moment's closed okay <laughs> fine i'm I'll not sleeping yeah, but I I uh, I just am tired all the time, and I but I I hardly ever go out. You've been out about six times in the last seven months. I've, I've wow. been out more than that. Not but too much. Not too much. No, and then when I go out, where's there to go? Well, that's why I haven't come into Manhattan. Where's yeah. there to go? Come mm -hmm. visit us. <laughs> uh, your war zone of Harlem. Oh, okay. I have to admit, and I've been in other sections of Manhattan, everybody is masked. I mean, the east side, the west side, down around where I work at 54th Street. Up here, it's like a 60-40. In Harlem, it's like a 60-40. Not everyone is masked. Yeah. And we have all this homeless. Proving that they don't believe black lives matter. <laughs> but again, why are black killing blacks in New York City. I don't understand. Why, what? Blacks, blacks are killing, killing blacks. blacks if lives matter. Yeah, of course, it's an entirely different thing. But I, I just think that if you're not wearing a mask and you're wearing a shirt that says Black Lives Matter, you're a fucking hypocrite. You know, hmm. that, that bothers me. But we do have that problem here. And we've got a homeless problem. Oh, major. All the ones that went off the subway. Well, they now pushed them all out of the subway. Building. Yeah. And now they're all camped out in front of our building. They bring couches in. They and put scaffolding there. up around our building. And our building is like a block wide and a block long. They put scaffolding up two years ago and they haven't done anything. So all the homeless 
have created their homes under the scaffolding. It's protected. Well, maybe they were building a home. They bought they chairs. They bought sofas. They have their clothes hanging on the wire. They have food things all over the. It's so disgusting. But I feel guilty. I called three one one. Three one one. Three one one. They don't care. To, I know to complain and say that this is a hazard because they're blocking the street and everything else. And, but I felt guilty about it because I do feel sorry for them. You know, part of me feels sorry for them, but part of me says, uh, I, in, in one particular case, and I, I hated this when it happened, I was waiting for, I was, had to go to the dentist. So I was waiting for a, a lift to take me down to the dentist. Right. Uh, and, um, um, I, uh, the guy came up to you, this the woman came up to me, no mask. I had a mask on luckily. And she right in my face yelled, get out of the way. And then went on and she was one of those people, you know, well, I mean, come on, you're, you're compromising my health and everything else. So, I mean, I felt bad about calling the cops on them. On the other hand, you know, find them some place to go. I mean, Cuomo says he wants to help these people. Well, come up with a plan. You know? Well, the mayor's wife gets a billion dollars a year to take care of these mentally it's true. challenged people. Yeah. With our goes, staff of 14 and the videographer. <laughs> we have a homeless. Who are all apparently essential workers who won't get laid off yeah. while we're laying off other city workers. We have a homeless encampment about two miles from here behind the Walmart. Uh, it's in a little creek area. And they keep setting the goddamn thing on fire back there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and now they put up porta potties for them. And I'm thinking, no, wait a minute, now you're encouraging this behavior. Right. right. You know, uh, I don't it's it's very bad. And there's a there's a call uh, you know, every two to three days that there's another fire back there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We have every day the cops come and try to clean it out. There's also a bus stop along here. And there's like seats for the people waiting for the bus. Well, the, all the homeless have kind of taken over that. Yeah. So it's... You know, and the mayor does not care of New York. What? The mayor of New York does not care. Uh, yeah. I have now, And when I'm coming back from the uh, dentist, I take the bus. The M2. Yeah. And the bus is not bad. But there are a lot of people doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, and I'm saying, it says wear a mask. It means this. There's even a sign up there that says wearing a mask means this. It's not this. It's not this. As, as Cuomo said, it's not a chin strap. <laughs> a chin guard. Cuomo is so good. I'll tell you something. During the heavy part in the spring, we watched him every day. And he just has been so I, good. I, I don't know how Shecky feels about him. You, you're kind of iffy about him, right? About Cuomo. I like him personally as a politician, but a lot of this is he's full of shit. No, he handled the COVID virus in New York fantastic. I think he, look, today. He got on it I, late, I, I, but he handled it I well. I meant mentioned to Marjorie the other night. But what about all those people he put back into the senior citizen homes? That right. was no. nowhere to put them. No, but, but, but the argument there is, and it's a good one, that was the recommendation from the CDC. Those people had been cured. They were still testing positive, but they... And there were so many people positive. coming in that needed the beds. And people needed the beds. You remember at that time, you, you were lucky to get fed in a hospital in New York City. Yeah. You know, so he was but dealing with I that. I think Como did a great job. Well, he really did. I mean, today you gave a briefing. I mean, what is it, Alex? Zero, 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 zero? Well, well what, what happened is, that, well, there were five, I think there were six deaths. Yeah, yes. Today. But we are at the lowest the infection rate. We are at the lowest infection rate since the beginning of this whole thing. We're at a 0.66. That's pretty good. That's uh, pretty great. Point, yeah, 0. 0.66. And so that, he, that means that the mayor can go back to his health club in Brooklyn soon, I guess. Yeah, but well, you know something, Shecky? He, he encouraged it, but it was the New Yorkers that did it. They wore the mask. They stayed inside. Yeah, but he also, he also followed the science. And what, what uh, I mentioned this to Marjorie the other night, for all intents and purposes, we do not have a COVID problem in New York State. 
In other words, when you've only got, you know, five deaths in the whole state, the other day it was only two. When you've got a, a rate of only, I think it's 640 people hospitalized because of COVID. In, in the whole state. In the whole state. And when you got 300 hospitals, that's about two people a hospital. Tough. You know, I mean, it, it, uh, it makes you say to yourself, we really don't have a problem any longer in New York State. We managed to wipe it out. For now. For now. So for I thank him. I thank him for nothing more saving my life. Yeah. We should, well, we let, should let him take on the homeless people in Manhattan. <laughs> well, that, that's got, something's got to be done. Well, I think what happened was when he cleaned out the subways, which he did fantastically, and the, and the, the walk space. She took the subway. Um, she said it's like, you know, it's like it, it, they, it's completely sanitary. You can eat on the floor in the subway now, but they all came here. They all came into Manhattan. They spread out. Well, and I hear it's not just in our neighborhood, and it's in other neighborhoods too. But uh, you know, then you try to find something, some place to put these people, and they they don't want to be put somewhere. Yeah. You know? So it's gonna yeah. be interesting to see here in about a week when the Sturgis rally is over and. The oh, well, apparently they've had a lot of COVID coming out of that rally. Yeah. What rally? What a shock. The motorcycle rally in Sturgis. <laughs> oh, really? Quarter million people. Wow, yeah. Louise, oh. are you still there? No, I think no, Louise. No, her camera's been turned off. That's it. Oh, Louise, turn your camera on. Yeah. I asked to start. But, you know, those are people in Sturgis who came there with that, you know, I can't get hurt logic, you know. Yeah. Well, and I mean, as I always joke, they're bringing it home to grandma. Yeah. yeah. You know what we've lost in this country? I, I guess I'm sounding like an old man now when I say this. We've and you are. <laughs> you didn't know what I was going to say. Because <laughs> that's the old lady in you. But no, um, uh, what was I going to say now? Now I forgot. You're saying that. Oh, that, that we've I'm lost saying. all sense of courtesy towards other people. Yes. Plain and Absolutely. Simple. All wearing a mask is, is a common courtesy. So is wearing clothing when you go outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like no courtesy of writing cable. And by the way, wear your mask all over your entire face because you don't walk around with your penis hanging out of the top of your pants. Exactly. You know. Most I've got to run, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mark. <Bye. laughs> oh, boy. Oh, are we lost Marjorie? Yeah, Marjorie. Yeah. Left. Did she say goodbye? She yes. She penis joke. <laughs> It must, have been get, it must have gotten a call from somebody more important. Yeah. Well, you know, we've kind of run out of time here anyway, but what's been, this is nice. This is just a nice bunch of people, a little, little, little less people today, but, uh, uh, you know, what the heck. I yeah. like it. Yeah, it's very nice, very, very copacetic, as it were. Well, uh -huh. there's nobody angry here, is yeah. the way I always say. Well, yeah. also, I, I am very careful and who I let in now. I mean, I'll let anybody in, but if they act up, I'll kick them right out. You know, uh, because I figure- But it's a pleasant group of people. I do this on my off hours, okay? And if I'm gonna do it, I want it to be pleasurable. New people are very pleasurable. Uh, and I thank That's Louise, I thank Louise for being here. And I thank Lynn for being here and Andrew for being here and Shecky, and also we got to thank Brian and Adrian for having made an appearance on this program earlier. Uh, have a nice week. We'll probably do this again next week. You know, I, okay. I, it's no skin no. on my back. I'm sitting here in the house. I have nothing else to do with my miserable <laughs> life. Anyway, uh, thank you everybody for joining us and uh, uh, thank them as well for being a, a good bunch of people. Thank you guys. I appreciate I it. Okay, have a good week. Okay, yeah. Marjorie, too. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. yeah well. <laughs>